Hello everybody, I'd like to welcome you to part 5 of this polymer clay sculpting project. I'm making a piranha plant, or a man-eating plant. In this video, I'm going to be doing the assembly of the parts that I've already made in the previous videos. Normally my videos are in time lapse, but this one's going to be in regular time because I wanted it to be very clear how all this goes together. I do hope you enjoy. Before we get started, I want to show you what I did to the tongue. Um, from what I gathered from the comments, uh, basically it wasn't long enough to fill the whole you know, mouth. And my wife said it looked a little too thick. So this is really, really simple what I did. I didn't film it. All I did was grab it here and wiggle and pull real slow. And it elongated it. And then I just pinched it like this, squeezed it, you know, and just gave it its shape. I think this makes a great improvement as far as how it looks. You see it come together. Looks a lot more realistic in there. Really, really cool. Just wanted to point that out real quick, that I changed the shape of the tongue before we get started. To get started, I just took a little piece of wood this is like a 1x4. I drilled a hole and I put a piece of copper wire in here. This is a very thick copper wire. It's something you use to maybe ground a mobile home or something. Um, I wanted something really stout to make this easier. I made this end into a loop so the um, two pieces of the head can be smashed down onto this and my copper wire will be somewhere around here too that will go through all this. Later on, I can bend this and you know angle it any way I want with some pliers. But right now, I'm just focusing on getting this together. If you remember me mentioning in the other videos, I poked a hole. You can see it, the light through there. I poked a hole through both of these pieces. If you look, that rests right there in the middle of that pad of clay that I made. That hole is pretty much right there in the center. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this copper wire, it's a couple, it's about a foot, foot and a half, I'm going to fold it in half, like this, and then stick half of it through. I just want to wrap it one good time. and I'll put it towards the back. Something like that. Real simple. I'm gonna cut the end off of that copper wire where it's folded. Now I'm gonna take one of the pieces right here and I'm going to stick it through that hole. Try to. There it is. I'm going to bring it up to Now I'm going to have to hold this, no I won't, bend the copper wires down here like this, voila. And I'm going to have to split this down here, I'm going to have to split this right here so it can go around that wire. And I'm going to fit that tongue around the copper wire, push it back. That looks good. Okay, now I'm just going to kind of squeeze down a little bit where the tongue is, since I like it right there. I'm so glad I'm finally squeezing this thing down together. This is awesome. Now I'm just going to try to get these two wires 
It's easier if you do one at a time. Now before I squeeze these together, I gotta make sure it's on there pretty decent. Like what I mean is, I don't want it to be, I want it to be pretty even this way. And I want the teeth to line up pretty good like that. Actually, this is looking pretty good how it is right here. But I'm going to double check. Okay, I totally like that how that how that looks. Now I'm just going to start squeezing back here. Back and forth to really start smashing that together. Like so. He's on there. Once I got it smashed down really, really good, like this, I'm going to take my two copper wires, like this, and I'm just going to twist them together. I suppose I should be paying attention what it's doing by looking at it head on but I'm trying to do this as a good camera angle which is not always the best idea when sculpting tying it down just a little bit a couple little more twists I don't want to do it too much there we have it I'll probably bake this for about eight minutes or so to ensure it's all stuck together. Um, and then we can start building the outside of the plant. But now that the assembly is complete, uh, this will be all downhill from here. Pretty easy. This th I saw this as the most complicated part, getting all this done. And I'm basically building this plant from the inside out. I do appreciate you guys for checking this video out. It means a lot. Um, let me know what you think so far. Uh, is this going to enable you to make your own piranha plant? Possibly. Uh, let me know, and I will see you here again soon. Thank you so much for watching.